In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Identifying Parallel and Perpendicular Lines from Equations. We're given the equations of three lines and asked to determine whether pairs of these lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And to do so, I'll look at the slopes of each of the lines because I know for parallel lines, the slopes will be the same. So if one of the slopes is A over B, the other slope will also be A over B, so matching slopes. For perpendicular lines, if one of the slopes is A over B, the other slope will be the negative reciprocal, so the opposite sign. The first is positive, the second must be negative, and the reciprocal B over A instead of A over B. These slopes will show that two lines are perpendicular, and then anything else will just be neither parallel nor perpendicular. So identifying slopes here for line one, it is in slope intercept form. So we can see the slope, which is the M in Y equals MX plus B form is three halves. So line one has a slope M of three halves for line two and line three. They are not in Y equals MX plus B form. So what I'm going to do is solve for Y. So here for line two, we have two y equals three x plus five. If I'm solving for y, I can divide both sides, each term on both sides by two. This would give me y equals three halves x plus five halves. So our slope here is three halves. I can already tell that it is parallel to line one, but I'll also need to look at line four and I can solve it for y to find the slope as well, starting with 4x plus 6y equals negative 8. To solve for y, I would first subtract the 4x over to the right-hand side. So 6y equals negative 4x minus 8, and then divide each term by 6 would give me y equals negative 2 thirds x minus four thirds. The important bit here though is the slope, the number in front of the x, which here is negative two thirds. Now that we have these slopes, we can tell that when we compare lines one and two, the slopes are the same. So these are parallel. When we compare two and three, they are negative reciprocals of each other. So the fractions are flipped and the signs are different. These are perpendicular. And then lines one and three are also negative reciprocals. So these are perpendicular as well. 